What's up investors? Today we're going to talk about Blade, ticker symbol EXPC. Uh, before I get into that though, hit that like button. I got a young YouTube channel. I really want to grow full of positive investors. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. A uh, big thank you to Monster Stock Picks for mentioning me in his uh, latest video. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we cover volatile stocks, strategies, investment SPACs, penny stocks, blue chips. You know, I cover the works. Anywhere, anywhere I see value, I, I, I talk about, I, that's, where I, that's where I focus. Um, you know, I do like to trade uh, small amounts of money relatively uh, with some of these more speculative stocks to earn capital to put into some of my longer term investments. Uh, so, you know, th that's the variety uh, that, that, that I'll cover, the type of stocks I cover on my channel. So if you'd love to, I'd love to have you as a part of that, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we've been on a tear lately. Uh, my portfolio is up 2,300%, uh, you know, and, you know, to be noted, you know, everybody's a genius in a bull market. Uh, I, I have been reading up on, you know, the, the dot-com bubble and, you know, just trying to be aware of that situation. So I, I do want to share that with you as well. Everything's riding high. Everybody's a genius because it's such a bull market, obviously. Um, you know, and that's great. And we should enjoy it, take advantage of it while it lasts. But I also want to discuss companies uh, that are solid at its foundation. Because uh, during these type of bubbles or these type of uh, times of growth, you know, the, you could still pick the winners. You could still pick the winners and, you know, that, you know, to, to equate that to today, you know, you want to pick the winners. You want to have most of your portfolio, most of your money into these very strong companies that you believe in long term. Um, and that's, and, and this is that type of investment. I'm very excited for this opportunity. Uh, this is, um, it's a SPAC. It's, it's in the, it's in the very early stages of the company's life cycle. Um, but they are set up tremendously going forward. Very exciting stuff. Uh, I would, I would. The concept of this company is Uber of the sky. It's a platform that will connect owner operators to passengers, um, possibly cargo, and they can branch so many different ways, which we will cover throughout the video. Uh, so make sure you stick around till the very end. I'm gonna cover a lot because there's so much to cover. It's such an exciting company. When I, when I talk about um, the vertical takeoff in landing technology, which is flying cars or the technology that we're talking about, and they come in various ways. If you look up at the screen, they all, you know, I mean, there's several companies working on this, but there's very, va there's many variations. Uh, so some are like helicopters flying cars, some are drones, some are dedicated to cargo, uh, some are dedicated to passengers. Uh, so, so there's a, a very wide variety of this technology being worked on. And some of the greatest, biggest companies in the world are dumping a lot of money into this technology. Uh, right now, I just so just to put it into perspective, when I when I we talk about vertical takeoff and landing technology in the video, when I say that, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. This is GM's version. For a world where advances in electric and autonomous technology make personal air travel possible. It is a concept designed for the moment when time is of essence and convenience is everything. You've been at the office and now you need to get to a meeting across town. The Vertol meets you on the roof and drops you at... Okay, so I, I just want to keep that in perspective. So when I talk about the vertical takeoff and landing technology, that it was GM's Virgin. They're not quite there yet. That was a rendering. They're not flying or hovering quite yet. Uh, but they're dumping tech, a lot of money into the technology and they're trying to get there. Uh, there's a lot of companies that are doing it, uh, working on this tech. Um, so keep that in mind that this where the, that's where this business model is headed. With you know that's urban air mobility platform utilizing a technology powered asset light model with unrivaled brand recognition, like like I just discussed, uh, asset light. So exactly like Uber, exactly like Airbnb, uh, same business model. I discuss the, the institutional investors uh, much. I always know what the smart money is doing. I really like to see that. I put a vocal point on that. The, the insiders, the, you know, the smart money. We talk about Shamath Palapatiya all the time on this channel. We always, I always pay attention to what he does. 
we don't follow, I don't follow him blindly, but I always know and, and, and pay attention to what he does. And, you know, those types of investors, Kathy Wood is another one that's on my radar. I talk about her quite a bit. And speaking of Kathy Wood, ARC is an investor. If we pull up Lucid Tracking, uh, this is a great website to keep track of ARC's day-to-day purchases. Uh, there are some others. Uh, this is the one that I like to use um, here. And if we pull up EXPC, we see that ARC has been adding to their ARKQ fund. And I do believe when the space exploration stock or ETF is laid out that this will be one of the focal points. I believe this is Kathy's Kathy Woods' way of betting on uh, vertical takeoff and landing uh, being huge, being a thing. This is a way to bet on it. Uh, and what we're going to discuss is how Blade wins, no matter who wins. Blade wins if the technology wins. Period. And a lot of people are are are. are estimating that it will win. Uh, if you see here, I found this to be extremely as, uh, fascinating. The urban air mobility uh, market is expected to be $125 billion by 2025 and grow to $650 billion over the next decade, according to Morgan Stanley Equity Research. So huge opportunity right here. I mean, this company is trading at under $15 a share right now and look at that market opportunity 650 billion dollars so that's what that's what's got me so excited about it is that it's an emerging market innovative technology so it fits right into my channel uh perfectly uh here's the leadership uh for blade specifically interesting see co-founder and ceo rob wissenthal Previously CFO of Sony Corporation of America and head of Sony Corporation Global Corporate Development. Previously COO of Warner Music Group. Okay. Current director and chair audit committee of TripAdvisor. And previously a managing director in market and advertising group at Credit Suisse First Boston. So you see the experience there. Uh, we touched on it just a few moments ago paying attention to the leadership of the company and look at that pedigree right there from the, from the founder and CEO. Blade is positioned to reshape the air mobility landscape. Uh, so, so this is very exciting stuff uh, right here. First mover advantage and loyal consumer base have created significant barriers to entry. It's recognized and valuable urban air mobility brand and they captive strategic infrastructure in place today Additional capital will enable further expansion via actionable targets and new routes. There's a large addressable and serviceable market. They're only getting bigger as the urban congestion escalates. It's got number one market research in our key short distance aviation markets, bringing credibility to new market expansion and its strong management team with domain expertise and public market experience. Proprietary technology and asset light model enables uh, flight volume growth and accelerates launch time for new markets. So it's built as the bigger it gets, the cheaper it becomes. So, you know, as of right now, I believe the pricing is at $195 per ride. The aim is to get to $125 per ride. So that, that becomes very affordable. That's a whole new market, a whole new demographic. So now th at that point, it becomes not only for rich folks, it becomes for more of the middle class or upper middle class. And when you compare it to other ways of travel, which we will get into in some of the charts throughout the investor presentation, it is comparable in price. And it does serve a, a legitimate purpose in some of these big cities that have traffic congestion. So, so here's the opportunity. So that's their opportunity today. But if you're looking at Blade, and this is where the real opportunity lies, this is where you know you should. This is where I'm getting excited. This Blade is strategically positioned to deploy next generation Verticraft, which is the vertical takeoff and landing, the flying cars. What I showed you at the beginning of the video, uh, profitable at scale. Okay, so Blade's business model is proven and profitable. Okay. Vertical takeoff in Lantech is expected to improve 
unit economics and dramatically expand the addressable market of Blade's existing products, right? Because there would be um, many more owners and operators of these vehicles and of these vessels of the sky. So there's 167 different aircrafts under development, okay? Blade is the is one of one, the only one poised to benefit regardless of who gets to market first. So, you know, that's that's a fantastic position to be in for a company to 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 be to benefit from emerging technology that is going to change the world and change transportation as we know it. I mean, that's a great position to be in, in my opinion. You know, but remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I mean, you should continue to look into this. I plan on covering this company quite a bit uh, over the next period of time. Um, I, I did take a position on Friday. I plan to hold my my shares long, like this long, 2024 and beyond. I plan to build a position and continue to uh, add shares, you know, through the next couple of years until we could get into prime time. But I plan on covering this stock. I wanted to introduce it to you. Uh, so maybe there could be a re reference point uh, for, for future videos. If you don't know what it is, there's so much more to cover. Um, but to keep the video brief, those were, were, were the main things that I wanted to put on your radar, why I wanted to introduce it to you and what, what I wanted you to know about the company. Um, it's very exciting. I will be covering this company quite a bit. So if, if you're an investor here, you definitely want to tap that subscribe button and you definitely want to hit the bell notification so you're notified when I upload new content. If you're still watching, thank you so much. Please hit that like button. It goes such a long way with the YouTube algorithm. I have big plans for this channel in 2021. These are the kind of stocks that I'm going to be talking about. Um, and I want to, and, and I want to, to emphasize the research and emphasize reasons why I don't sell when there's a little bit of a sell off or, you know, being informed, being informed, you know, and making these choices on your own. I don't want to, I'm not a guru. I don't want to tell you when to buy and sell. I don't want to say, you know, sell you my buy and sell alerts, you know, all that's nice, but I want you to understand the company, understand the products, you know, see it, see, see if you see the value in it yourself. So you can make that choice. Uh, you know, so if that's, you know, I'd love to have you if that's the kind of investor that you are. So, you know, really please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching.